All right, today we're going to work with some business graphics. So first thing we're going to do is go to our view, double click on main, and we'll create a new UI element. Let's go into change mode real quick. Right click on UI element container, insert, insert element, I'm going to do types business graphics, so right here. All right, so if we go down into this element, the properties, you'll see we have lots of choices in terms of the type. So the chart type is default at columns, but we can do a Gantt chart, lines, pie chart, polar chart, split pie, speedometer, you name it. So we'll just leave it as the, uh, the columns for right now. We need some data to uh, to so we'll mock up some data real quick in our context. We'll just save this. We'll build the data right into the context of this view. So we'll click on the context tab, right click, create node. You can leave the defaults. We can call it graph data. And save. Or add a couple attributes. First attribute will be the description. Type string. Next attribute will be um, item A. Type integer. Item B, type integer, and finally, item C, type integer. <clears throat> now, if we go back into these guys, I can change their default. So I'm going to change A to equal uh, 20, B to equal 30. And C to equal 35. Our description will change to uh, default description. Sorry, I'm not in a creative mood right now, so we'll leave it at that. Um, so we'll give this a save since we've done quite a bit. Go back to our layout. What we're going to do in the properties of the business graphic is select the series source. So we'll select graph data right here. And then we will right click on this guy and insert a category. And then our description is going to link right to our description we created here. And then we'll right click again on our graph UI element and we'll insert a series. We'll call this series one. That'll be a simple series. Create another series. Series two. Again, a simple series. We'll create one more. Insert series. Series three. Simple series. All right. So for each of these, we're going to select the value to our items we created here. Remember these are integer values. We'll save that. All right, before we go any further, we have to uh, read our context. We'll go back into uh, the context tab where we created graph data. So we'll go into methods. Um, I selected the WD do init. It's a method that's run every time you first time you run your application. We'll use the wizard, read for context, graph data, select OK. There, did all the code for us. Go back to our layout. Everything's looking good. We'll save. 
All right, now let's right click and activate, or sorry, like right click and uh, create a Webden Pro application. Save. And now uh, we'll activate. So double click up here, activate. And now we should be able to test. All right. So there you see our column graph. Let's go back into our layout and see if we can play around with this a little bit. So, so there's our columns. Let's try lines. Save that. Activate. And test. So you have lines. What else do we have in here? Let's try split pie activate it test all right anything else fun feel free to play around this on your own um, I'm gonna go to the columns again I'm gonna save you right click on your UI element and you say edit customizing you can play around um, with some of the settings so let's say right now it's selected at two dimension for our columns let's try it in three dimension oh yeah so we'll save that and you'll notice it creates a little XML so those settings are saved in a new XML file um, we'll activate and try it in 3D. There you go. It's pretty cool. Have fun with it. You don't need uh, business objects, business intelligence, whatever they're called these days to create a couple of graphs. You can use it right in Webden Pro. So, have fun. Hi, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, if any of these tutorials have helped you out in one of your projects, please consider a small donation. Until next time, cheers.